You know, the tumor microenvironment is something I've been obsessed with. Um, uh, my background, just so, is very strange in the sense that I came from the idea of doing transplantation in stem cells very early on. I got funded by NASA and I was trying to actually trick the body into not rejecting a cell, which means inducing tolerance. It turns out that cancer is merely an extension of, a cancer stem, of, of, of your normal stem cells. And the way the cancer goes about growing is actually it tricks and hijacks the immune system and induces tolerance. So therefore, the only way to get in and actually fight that battle is to get into the tumor, what I call tumor microenvironment. I don't think the oncology community appreciates even to this day that we developed a Braxane for the sole purpose to enter the tumor microenvironment. A Braxane is an albumin-based nanoparticle that activates a thing called a GP60 receptor that's on the blood vessel wall and opens up physically a hole in the blood vessel wall, a thing called cavioli and a pathway called transcytosis to get anything into that tumor microenvironment, whether it be a Braxane, whether it be cisplatin, whether it be gemcitabine, into that milieu. Once it's through the blood vessel, you can then start working inside the tumor microenvironment in a way never before. So when I developed a Braxane, unfortunately most people thought this is just another generic taxol. It was just something to actually reduce toxicity. It was nothing of the sort. I wanted to actually go low dose into the tumor microenvironment and stress the cell. So that's exactly the protocol we've been running with pancreatic cancer patients. So the fact that we have metastatic pancreatic cancer patients with metastases alive eight years out is because we've actually entered the tumor microenvironment, low dose of Braxane, add things like 5-FU, activated the natural killer cell of the patient, induced memory, we think, we hope, and the patients are still alive eight years out. All I can tell you is we have that data to now go to the next step and prove this hypothesis, because it still is a hypothesis, to create randomized phase twos in which we enter the tumor microenvironment, activate the natural killer cell, activate the dendritic cell, activate the T cell, suppress the suppressor cell, and now take on this hand-to-hand -hand combat. This GPS cancer test that allows us to measure the DNA, measure the RNA, measure the protein, measure the immunome, is for the first time giving us the tools to knowing what we're doing. Uh, I'm probably most excited about that, and that's the Cancer Moonshot program that we're running, this quilt trial.